When I acquired this Black Widow spider in my yard last October, I didn't know how long I would keep her for observation, so I just put a can and some sticks in a jar, and that was the enclosure I came up with. Fast forward eight months, and one cricket a week has been fed to the spider, and now the whole jar is filling up with dead crickets. I can't get them out because I can't flip the jar over without the can and the sticks shifting and disrupting the web and maybe even potentially harming the spider. I really like this spider. She's an easy pet to keep and she seems healthy and fine in my home. So I decided to come up with a new enclosure for her. I started with a two gallon glass jar. The plan here is to create something that will allow me to clean out the dead crickets and move the jar without hurting the spider. I started by drilling air holes in the lid. Next, I attached toilet seat bumpers to the lid. The idea here is that the toilet seat bumpers will keep the lid up off the ground and will give uh, some airflow into the jar. I plan on keeping the jar upside down. In order to attach the sticks and debris that she can nest on, I started with a piece of floral foam. The idea here is to attach this to the bottom of the jar, which will ultimately be the top of the spider's enclosure. This will form a base that I can attach the sticks and the debris to, so that when I flip the jar around, they won't move or shift or cause any problems for the spider. I did very carefully sand this down really well. I didn't want any foam getting stuck in her webs or making a mess. I planned on using super glue, but as you can see, that does not stick foam to glass, so I had to come up with a different solution. The idea was to use this glass glue to attach the foam to the bottom of the jar. Um, and in order to do that, I needed to create a cardboard base for the foam. The glass glue would stick the cardboard to the glass, but it would not stick the foam to the glass. So I just cut out a piece of cardboard and I made it the same size as the piece of foam. And then I hot glued it to the foam. The hot glue would also not stick the foam directly to the glass. So I had to use this little styrofoam insert in the middle. So I hot glued it on and while I waited for it to dry, I sanded the bottom of the jar to give the glass glue some little bit of grip to hold onto. Then I used the glass glue to attach it to the base of the jar. I gave it a couple hours to cure up. And once I did, it was well, well attached. I attached some sticks to the foam just by pushing them in there the same way that a florist would do if they were making a floral arrangement. I did ultimately go back and put a little hot glue on the bottom of each of these sticks. And I cut up a piece of an old flower pot. I attached that to a dowel and I hot glued that in there as well because she likes places to hide like the little bit of the flower pot. And so this was the finished product before I moved the spider into the jar. You can see the piece of the flower pot. To move the spider, I thought about trying to grab her in some way or whatever, but ultimately I just created a bridge from one jar to the other, and I put the new jar on top of the old jar, and within a couple of nights, she migrated up to the new jar on her own. This was the least impact I could manage for the spider, and she seemed happy with how it went. This is the enclosure. There's a couple dead bugs in there. She's eaten a grasshopper and a cricket. So after she's done eating, she'll cut them free from the web and they'll fall down into the bottom of the jar. So I can simply remove the bottom of the jar like so. She doesn't try to get away. A black widow spider is not a speedy critter and I don't think she wants to leave anyways. Crickets magically fall from heaven into her lap. So here's some dead bugs. They're wrapped up in her webs and I simply throw them into the trash. This keeps the enclosure much, much cleaner. When I'm done, I usually drop in a new cricket, which is easy because all of the debris and stuff is attached. There she is hanging out in her little flower pot fort. All of the debris and stuff is attached to the 
foam so it doesn't shift or bother her. I can drop a cricket in, screw the cap back on, and flip the whole enclosure over. The spider could live for three plus years this way from what I've read, and I hope that she does. I really like having her around. This enclosure seems better for her. I can clear out some webs if she starts to clog it up again and keep her enclosure nice and clean. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll check back again some other time to see how my spider is doing.